All right, what's up everybody? My name is Kurt and today um, new golden tickets are out man uh, We're gonna be opening up some packs. I don't know how many we're gonna open. We got 50,000 training right now But there are I'm pretty sure four new uh, Golden tickets in packs. I was about to say limited times, but they aren't limited times. They're gonna stay in packs but the first one and Maybe the most popular one today. I don't know. There's two really really popular ones today is Tim Tebow man um, I He's I'm sure everybody is excited for this card. It looks great, man. Um, let me know what you guys think of these cards that are dropping today. Um, and then we will get on to the uh, to probably the second most popular one today, which is DK Metcalf. Strong safety. Not wide receiver. Strong safety. Um, I'm sure this guy is an absolute monster. Um, 98 speed, 6'3". I mean, 99 zone coverage. Absolute monster. It might be the best card to drop today. Uh, let me know what you guys think. There is also um, Benny Snell. And where is he? I just saw him. Here we go. Benny Snell. Going for about 400k. Not bad. Let's see. I, I don't know the stats of this card. Um, 96 speed. Okay. Um, honestly, not bad. All, honestly, guys, all golden ticks are, tickets are very, very good. But um, definitely not the best one today, I would say. But still, a very solid card, man. Definitely. And guys, uh, I, you know, this is the last one. I don't know. I'm judging by the price. This is an absolute beast of a card as well. I've actually seen this one. This is the only one's golden ticket today that I've seen the stats already, and it's an absolute monster, man. I mean, oh my gosh! Like if you're running a Washington theme team, this is a monster of a card. He'll you can get him to 99 speed and everything. Um, just this is a good card, man. Let me know what your favorite card is to drop today. Um, and let me know if you guys have pulled any, but we're going to try. All right, guys, before we get into the packs, I want to start up with questions of the day again. So if you guys have questions, leave them and we'll get them in the videos. But the first one comes from LD. He says, who do you think will be the better offensive rookie and defensive rookie? Go with your obvious choice and then also do a sleeper. Um, his obvious choice for offense is Trevor Lawrence. I think a lot of people's would be Trevor Lawrence, even though there are a lot of other offensive rookies that could be like like Kyle Pitts, for example. I think he could be really, really good in Atlanta, pass heavy offense, you know. Um, you never know. And before we get into my picks, guys, his sleeper on offense is Jamar Chase, and his sleeper on defense is Nick Bolton. Um, let me know what your guys' sleeper or your picks are as well. Um also, like I said, leave questions, but let's get into it, man. All right, guys, so my picks, man. So obviously on offense, I think this is going to be a lot of people's, my obvious one. I think it's going to be um, Trevor Lawrence, man. I really do. And uh, I just, yeah, I, I think a lot of people is going to pick Trevor Lawrence. Let me know. There might be some other ones out there. Um, but yeah, I think Trevor Lawrence has a good, good, like, weapons around him. And they're gonna he's gonna I think he's gonna be passing a lot too, you know, man. And guys, on defense, I, I like Pat Sertain as well for my obvious one. That's who I'm picking as well. Um, like I said, let me know who you guys think. Now, I, I just I, I think, you know, I just think Denver's defense is really, really good. And especially when they're all healthy, like you got a Von Miller and stuff, and I think he can really like play off of that, you know what I mean? So that's that is gonna be my pick for obvious on defense, but let's get into my sleepers, man. All right, guys. So on offense, my sleeper is gonna be a little different. And now I wasn't too sure about picking him because there's some other guys that I think could be really, really good. And like Jamar Chase, I think he could be really good and stuff. But and, and another reason why I was thinking about maybe not picking this guy is because this position really doesn't win like rookie of the year or or anything like that or get a, a, a as much recognition as a lot of other positions but I'm not even going to try to say his name but it's it's the offensive lineman from the Lions man I think he has a real good chance to just really turn that run game around and I think it, it could really really help I think I like him a lot I think it I, like I said I'm not gonna try to say his name but I really think he could be really really good also guys I really think Mac Jones could be very, very good this year. The only thing that is making me worried about him is he doesn't have a whole lot of weapons unless they run uh, double tight end sets every single time. And even if they do, I feel like the Patriots are becoming a, a run heavy team. So I don't know how much. And, and you know, he might not even start. I, I think he should, but I, who knows? He might not even start. 
But I think I think the Patriots came away with a, with a really good draft pick there, man. All right, guys, and my sleeper for uh for defense now, guys. I'll just let you know I only know really the first round of the draft. I didn't watch much past that. Lights. Can we get something big? Come on. 88 Dan Marino. That's not very good. But um, like I said, I I do I did only watch the first round and I'm only familiar with that. So that's where all my sleepers gonna be. Um, and my sleeper for defense is Davis from Washington, man. Um, I think you can really play off of that, uh, that, that defensive line they got, which is crazy. And, uh, I think he could have a very good season and I'm very, very, I have very high expectations for Washington this year. Um, I like, I'm talking winning the division and maybe winning a game in the playoffs. I, I, I really like Fitz magic. I really like their receiving core. I like their tight end and that, well, that might go into their receiving core, but I really do like their team, and I think they've done a lot to really fix it this year. But yeah, guys, those are my picks. Um, let me know what, what you think. Let me know uh, your picks. Uh, I know everybody has different opinions on this. And uh, so, yeah, um, like I think there's a lot of offensive rookies out there that could really do... Ooh, yellow! 91 clowny. Wrong clowny, man. Just wrong clowny. But yeah, guys, let me know if you guys uh, what you guys think of my picks, and let me know your guys' picks as well. All right, guys. So as we're nearing the end of this, we do have one more question. Um, I knew that first question would take a little bit of time, but um, it comes from Colonel Sanders. He asks, "Do I think the Titans are a playoff team?" Um, one hundred percent, I believe so, unless something crazy happens, um, especially if Deshaun Watson does not play this year, which I do not think he will. Um, let me know what you guys think. I definitely think the Titans are a playoff team. I think they, I, I heard rumors they might trade for Julio. I mean, I don't, that, that'd be crazy if they did. They're obviously, the, you know, a playoff team then. But, but yeah, I think I'm going to get some more training. And then, uh, and then we'll probably call this a video if I don't pull anything or if I pull anything. So let's get some more training. All right, guys. So we're back with another 50,000. This will probably be the last 50,000 I open. Um, yeah, man. Hopefully we can pull a golden ticket or something really good. We did get a yellow series redux pull, but it was only a 91. So that kind of sucked. But um, like I said, I do think the Titans are a playoff team, man. Like, definitely. Um, I think the Colts are still really good and probably can make the playoffs too. But um, but I just don't know what to think of Carson Wentz. You know what I mean? Uh, I know he had a bad season. I've, 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 I like Carson Wentz. I'm not like a huge fan of Carson Wentz. I like Carson Wentz. I think he can be really good, but he just had such a bad season last year, you know? But yeah, guys. Um, so, and especially if, if Deshaun Watson doesn't play, which I don't think he is going to, but there's another thing I want to talk about guys. I've, I, you know, I, I watched Xerxes videos and, uh, he mentioned something about fan appreciation coming. I thought fan appreciation packs were coming this week. I am so sick and tired of opening up these trash training variety packs. I don't want to open them no more. I am so excited for fan appreciation packs, man. Um, let me know. Do you when do you think they got when do you think they're gonna come out? Uh, last last year they came or last Madden they came they came out like uh, May fifteenth, I believe. Yeah, guys, May fifteenth, and uh, it is currently May fourteenth. So I was hoping maybe they dropped them with golden tickets today. Who knows? Um, yeah, man, I was, I was just really hoping for that. But yeah, guys, we're about halfway through this 50K and we haven't really opened or pulled anything, man. I'm just, I'm really not feeling training variety packs anymore. But yeah, guys, so I, I had to cut right there. I had to do something, but, um, uh, yeah, I forget where I left off, but let me know if you guys have pulled any, had any luck with these packs. I am definitely not. Ooh, 90 overall OC Yuminiora. He actually just got a power up expansion. Um, yeah, man, that that's gonna be nice for the uh, for the no money spent mud swads. That one will probably be cut will come eventually. I don't know when, but yeah, guys, um, we're almost done with this. Ooh, lights! Can we can we pull this out? Eighty seven Rod Woodson. I I hate eighty seven overall lights, guys. Um, a hundred thousand training in this video, and we have pulled absolutely nothing. All right, guys. So we do. I you know I just couldn't leave it there. We did get another 50,000 training. Now, if I don't sh uh, if if I don't pull anything in this 50,000, you probably won't see it, but you'll see whatever I anything good that I do pull. 
Um, by the way, guys, if you guys are wondering, this is not my no money spin account. I would never let it get this bad on my no money spin account. This is actually a separate account, account I have that um, that I'm grinding solos on for like uh, theme teams and stuff. So I've been really grinding for that um, just to give you guys kind of an update. Um, I'm not going to tell you what team we're doing first. I want that to be a surprise. But um, but it, it should be coming soon, I guess. Uh, maybe a week or two. I don't know. Um, I'm not just going around buying every player. I'm trying to get every player for a certain price. I've got a list and stuff right here, you know. Um, but yeah, man. Hopefully we can pull a golden ticket or at least something good. Ooh, gold, gold redux, 92 overall Cooper Cup, man. Um, yeah, this pack opening has not gone very well. Uh, let me. Hopefully you guys are having better luck than me. Um, I've pulled so many freaking jerseys in this last 50. We'll see how much, how much you know, training I made back out of this total 150,000 guys. But I cannot wait until fan appreciation packs come out because I am so done with these training variety packs. They are absolutely terrible. They used to be great, but EA did what EA does and... Ooh, 20,000. That's nice. EA did what EA does and absolutely ruined it. Alright, guys. So we started right here at this Troy Hill, guys. Um, 150,000 training. Let's see how much we got back. 75,000. Yeah, that exactly half. But we did pull some quick sells, I guess. I accidentally did quick sell a 2,000 coin quick sell that we had. So you can go ahead and add 2,000 onto that. Um, 34,000 coins in, in quick sells. Not very good, guys. Not good at all. Uh, like I said, let me know if if you guys have had any luck with this, it, with these packs, or have you pulled any golden tickets. Um, I'm, I'm done with training variety packs. EA has ruined them. But anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. Until next time, peace. Louder.